You too, Johnny Klishnikov here. Uh, today's question is how do I handle fear? What's the best way to handle fear? Fear is a huge part of uh, everyday society. It prevents us from becoming the strongest version of ourselves. It prevents us from taking risks. It prevents us from doing things we really wanted to do, but for whatever reason we chose not to do it, which is not a good thing. Um, the richest place in the world is the graveyard. The graveyard, we take, uh, so many people have taken so many amazing things to the graveyard. Inventions, uh, cures, music, poems, books, you name it. And fear is one of the absolute biggest reasons why people make the graveyard such a rich place. Why am I making this video? Because everybody I'm talking to, there is a potential that you're going to bring something really awesome to the graveyard, which will suck for us. So, uh, as Les Brown says, live full, die empty. Live a full life, but don't leave anything to the graveyard. So, hand, how do we handle fear? Um, my remedy for fear is a quote by Ralph Waldo Anderson. And, uh, Wolf? Waldo Emerson. Anyways, so the quote says, do the thing and you'll have the power. If you follow your emotion of fear, you're never going to feel like doing what you're wanting to accomplish. But the power comes from doing it, even if you're afraid, asking the pretty girl out, asking for the job, going on the interview. Um, starting up your own website, starting your own company, um, starting a, a side project, starting to write it, whatever you're, you're trying to accomplish in your life, taking the first steps, doing that. If you don't do that, you'll never have the power of accomplishment. You'll never have the power of influence. Uh, just like I'm doing this. You know, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Once I do it, that's, that's how I'm going to leave a legacy. I want to teach the world, but it's not going to happen by itself. If I do this, I'm going to have the power of influence. Writing a book is honestly, it's a scary thing for me because I'm not an author. I'm a teacher. I'm a drummer. Um, I, I do competitive shooting. Uh, I'm not a writer, but now I'm almost done. I'm over 82,000 words. So I, got, I still got four chapters left. I'm finishing up. Uh, anyways, do the thing and you'll have the power. Whether it's weightlifting, whether it's getting involved in a new sport, you know, if you don't do it, you won't have the power. I can say I, I want to bench press 400 pounds all I want, but until I actually start throwing weights around and promoting myself, it's not going to happen. So do the thing, you'll have the power, you won't have the regrets. What's the worst thing that'll happen if you try something out and you fail? Well, number one, it's never really a failure because you gain the most precious commodity you can have in your life, which is called experience. So even if you mess up your first time around, you can try a second time around, but you're going to do it a little bit better. Last video, uh, I said, how do people learn? Smart people learn from other people's mistakes. Normal people learn from their own. Stupid people never learn. Once you gain experience from trying new things, then you're going to be able to do things better, learn from others, um, do what's called best practices, study the people who are doing the absolute best in what you're trying to do, and imitate them. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Um, so do the thing, have the fo uh, and you'll have the power, and uh, don't let fear prevent you from doing what you're called to do. Don't make the graveyard a richer place that it needs to be. Peace.